Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday fun day, which I tend to love. I just got finished up with work. Went and checked some wells that are close by my house. Um, getting all my stuff put into my computer system. Maybe I'll take a quick look at that. Um, one thing of business, I am getting a new camera very soon, as in like this week. Uh, I know the video quality is terrible. I bought a cheap camera because I didn't know if this was going to last or not, to be honest with you. Uh, but I'm really finding it pretty enjoyable. Uh, something different, something I don't really don't do. Um, and, it, you know, it, it, it's something to do anyway. I uh, hope you get some value out of it. But today I'm going to talk about uh, oil and gas production. Now it's going to be the dumbed down version. It's not going to be some engineered, you know, X, Y, Z, and because of this it does that, and through the intermediate casing, and you know, perfs are shot, and this is what it does, blah, 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 blah. Literally, I'm going to tell you kind of what a lease operator needs to know, and in five minutes I'll tell you what it kind of took me three to four months to actually start to comprehend. I mean, initially it's pretty simple, but uh learning how everything works and what you know how 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 it all goes together is uh, is is another thing once you get experience and start feeling figuring out what you're comfortable with uh, and good stuff like that so basically you've got a well which will start at the surface level so it's going to come out of the ground in three basic well four basic three basic forms you've got oil you've got water and you've got gas now I'm not counting for the typical what we call BS and W or just basic solids and trash. You've got iron, you got yada yada yada. I'm not gonna give you the engineered crap. Oil, gas, water comes out of the ground. What it does is then we go into what we call a separator. And uh, maybe if I get some time tomorrow, I'll shoot some uh, some videos of the uh, actual equipment on location. I have to be careful because of uh, typical companies don't like. Uh, they don't want you spreading content on them or reporting production data so uh, I'll have to be careful with that it's gonna take a lot of time but we'll see what we can do anyway oil gas water comes out of the ground they go into what we call a separator this is the first stage of separation and what it does typically is you're gonna separate the gas from the fluids okay so your gas is knocked out of the oil gas water gas is gonna go directly to cells into a pipeline that pipeline company, as it passes through the meter, it is sold. It is no longer on the production company. It has belonged to midstream. Okay. Next, you're going to go, the fluids are going to get knocked out out of that separator and dump into what we call a heater treater. Now, a heater treater is te t technically a pressurized vessel in which you've got oil, gas, water in it. Now, I say gas again because initially we knocked the majority of the gas out. However, some gas is going to stay, and what that does is provide pressure on that vessel to dump. The thing is, with production work, you always start at your highest pressure and you work your way down. So typically, you come out of the well bore, rough example, 100, 100 pounds. You go into a separator that's set at like 60 pounds. Okay, as it dumps, it's going to go into a heater treater that's at 30 pounds or 20 pounds, etc. You see how you're stepping down because that's that's physics I guess if you will you can only dump into a a vessel or a tank or anything that is actually a lower pressure because there you go physics anyway so as you dump into your heater treater okay so basically water salt water is going to be your heaviest fluid that you have in a well bore next will be oil and then on top of that will be gas. So what you're going to end up doing is it goes into a heater. It hits these different baffles with fire. It doesn't directly, there's not direct fire into the vessel. What you do is it's got a tube on the inside and it's going to heat itself. As it heats itself, it helps separate. So your water is going to come to the bottom. Your oil is going to be on top of that. And then your little bit of gas to hold the back pressure on your vessel. Then what it does is you set levels based on where you want your vessel to dump. So... For instance, if your water level gets to, you say, X height, the dump opens, and it's going to dump straight into your water tank. Same token, your oil side gets to a certain level, dumps, it goes into your oil tank. At that point, you've separated your gas, your water, and your oil, and now it's ready. 
in theory for to be sold i.e. get trucks over there the water gets vacked out and taken to a disposal to be treated your oil is going to go to uh, whatever whatever uh, pickup company I guess you will Sunoco, Traffic Era um, there's a bunch of companies anyway that buy the oil and then that goes into trading and yada 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 that's not lease operator stuff ultimately I just wanted to give you a brief of what happens with the well i.e. comes out of the ground goes through separation first stage gas is sold oil gets dropped oil and water drops out goes into a heater very that's uh broken down again separated better put in tanks at that point that's it that's in a nutshell what it is so for instance today and i'll show you my notes what we do is we go by and gauge those tanks and what gauging is is you run a tape measure basically into the tank you mark down where it is on your your production or your uh, how much production you made overnight you write it down and then you put it into a program which is going to end up calculating what you actually produced that day so here's a brief look at what I did today so there's my tally books. Anyway, so we've got several stops here. And as you can see on this here, let's see. On this stop, that's my water tank, the tank level. Oil tank one, oil tank two. Then I've got other, other locations, and those are the gauges for those tanks. So your top gauge is that. And this is the bottom typically you see when you're producing it. Then you'll come in and it gets put into a program such as Field Direct, which is the one this particular company I work for uses. Uh, you report that production work. It gets turned in. It calculates everything of what I did um, for that day and kind of a running total. And... Uh, what I end up doing is I submit it, that goes to the production company, they review it, and that's how we make determinations on uh, what kind of different uh, changes we need to make, such as, you know, changing free flowing wells to plunger lift wells, changing gas lift wells to rod pump wells. It's, that's all in, in their hands at this point. But my job, the lease operator, is to keep everything moving, report production, and uh, keep up with everything fix leaks and and all that good stuff but uh to come i will take y'all with me out to the field when i get my better camera because ultimately <laughs> i've watched my videos i've watched other people's videos and do this yeah they do not look good and if i'm going to do all that i might as well do it right and i want it to look good so i can give some good content to you guys so uh with that being said it's sunday fun day i'll show you kind of what else in mind we've got for today yep 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 thawing out some ribeyes so in tradition of Sunday fun day have a good day uh, we'll talk to you guys soon like I say I'm ordering my camera off Amazon probably today and uh, we're gonna get some better content guys so we'll catch you later